Oh, hey, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be talking about round two of our Reading Around the World challenge. This is a challenge that I'm doing with Kim from Expedition Through Pages, um, who is delightful, and you should absolutely check out her channel. I will leave all of her information down below. And our first round was Cambodia. We both still need to finish the last bit of the last book for Cambodia, but we were so excited to just go ahead and get started with our, our next round as well. And so we're structuring it a little bit differently. What we did was was we each randomly selected a country and we found some books from that country. The goal is to find um, books that are either written by authors from that country or something very tied to those countries um, to really get a perspective from people who have grown up there, lived there for significant periods of time, or nonfiction that are about that country, things like that. And we hope to get a wide variety in there, some fiction, some nonfiction, some different genres, and also not just focusing on maybe one specific event or time period in that country's history, even if it was significant, and maybe we do focus some on that in some of the reads. We don't want to only focus on one tragic event in a country's history as, as our group of reads because a country is more than just one period in its time, in its history. So uh, anyway, I hope that kind of gives a sense of the goals for this project and how we're hoping to structure it. So um, yeah, the country that I selected was Lithuania. So I've got information on the books down on my phone here. So I'll just jump right into talking about some of the books. The first one that I have is Lost Birds. And this is a historical fiction. It's an immigration story, a coming of age story. Um, so I thought that would be really interesting um, as one of my options. I have five total that I'm gonna talk about here. I might not read every single one of them, but you know, it's a good selection to choose from, I think. And I will also be looking up as I read them how to pronounce these authors' names. I have a lot of filming to do today and just was not prepared. Um, and I just need to get through a lot of filming and editing today. So, but I will look up how to pronounce these authors' names as I read them. Um, the second book that I'm going to talk about is The Buddy Read. So this is one that both Kim and I were interested in reading and will be the one that we both read and talk about in that live show in early April. And that is Hour of the Wolf. And this is a bunch of genres together. It's an alternate history steampunk sci-fi fantasy um, and involves murder, political intrigue, magic, and so it just sounded super cool. And so we both wanted to read that one as our buddy read. Um, there's also Between Shades of Grey, and this is also a historical fiction, a young adult historical fiction um, around the 1940s and is again a coming of age story in a time of war and set in Stalin's work camps around that time. Um, so I've always wanted to check out this author, so this was a great opportunity to do that. The nonfiction that I have is Forest Brothers, and this is a nonfiction also set around that time and is an autobiography of armed resistance in, to Soviet forces in Lithuania during the 1940s. So I thought it would be interesting to get a nonfiction and fiction perspective from around then. So I thought that could be a cool option. And I also thought it would be fun to include just something completely different than what I would normally pick. So I, I found a short story collection. Um, this is The Last Day and is a collection of short stories that are considered a classic in contemporary Lithuanian literature. So I thought that would be pretty cool to check out. Um, so, you know, a variety of options here. I, I think those could be some really fun options. If you're interested in joining in, that would be really amazing. And again, I'll have everything linked down below. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep tabs either through videos, Instagram posts. We'll, we'll see how we want to keep up to date with information on this and kind of when we have a live show date set, for example. So, yeah, and with that, thank you so much for watching. I'm filming this the day before we're gonna be, or refilming it, <laughs> the day before we're gonna be posting it. And so I also just wanted to note that, yeah, it's just been a crazy time and have not had much time for editing, but I am hoping to get a lot done this weekend and um, hoping to get my best of 2022 video, best audiobooks of 2022 video out, and also hoping, I did a little set of vlog clips from a weekend away that we had last weekend, part of the reason it's been hard to find time to edit. 
um, but I did get some vlog clips from that getaway so I'm hoping to post that soon as well as just a video on high priority reads and projects for this year and some anticipated releases for this the first half of this year as well so those are some videos that I'm hoping will come out soon um, but I have been reading and working on vlog clips for some other vlogs that I will be posting as well so things are happening I just haven't had much time to edit recently so hope you're hope you're down for the journey if you are then do subscribe for more bookish content and I will as I said link everything down below including more information about how you can support the black lives matter movement and I will see you in the next one bye everyone